hello friends in this video we will see how you can send message or signal using vector canoe and how you can add an interactive generator block or ig block in canoe so once you start your canoe you will see a window popping up like this you just have to say okay to this and since i'm not having any license of canoe i won't be able to start the communication but if you're having license so you will be able to start the communication i will show you how you can start the communication so i will just say okay that i'm not having any license and i'm okay with the restricted features so i'll just expand this window and the first thing you have to do is you have to go to simulation setup that is in simulation tab and in this simulation setup so after that you have to expand the simulation setup window and you will see a window like this so there are two ways how you can add a uh, interactive generator block that is by right clicking on this node and just click on insert can interactive generator and there is other way also by which you can add an interactive generator so once you remove this you have to select a network you have to go to this network and then you have to click on plus here and then you will see a can network popping up and you have to click on this interactive generator and right click on it and you will see options similar to the options which we have seen before and you have to click on insert can interactive generator after that what you can do is double click on it and you will see a window opening so in this window uh, you can add a message from database but since we are not having any database added in our configuration we won't be able to see any message there so for that what we will do is we will add a, a database in our can then after uh, once you click on this option you will see some messages from the database which you can send using this can interactive generator block so to add the database what you have to do is go to the same simulation setup and click on this database right click on it add and go to the folder where you have saved your database so in my case it is in this folder and i'll be adding this temporary database file here so once i click on open that database will be added here and now if i double click on this and just click on this add frame from database i'll be seeing a lot of messages and frames uh, from the database and and i can select any of the message which i have to send from the database and if i say okay then i can send that message using uh, that database so if the message is periodic then i have to say uh, periodic and once i start the can from here that is this click on it this uh, thunderbolt or you can place you can press f9 key for shortcut and if i keep this running like this and if can is started then you will see that message is been sent that is a tx message in this trace window and if you are having any tool connected to your can network then you will see a reaction in that tool if anything supposed to happen with that can message so thank you for watching and this is how you can send a can message using vector.